Are you curious about the powerful tools hidden in Microsoft 365? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at document properties. Now, every document that you create will have properties. And all properties are, are the metadata that sits behind your document. So for example, when I create a new document, the author is registered as me. So author is a document property. As I type into my document and the file size gets bigger, the file size is a document property. The title of the document is a document property. So really document properties are useful information about your document that you might want to view and or modify. So to show you what I mean, let's pull up document properties for this particular document, the employment contract. So it's pretty easy to see them. If we jump into file and go down to the info area, over on the right hand side, you'll see we have all of these different properties. Now, the first thing worth noting here is that some of these properties are editable and others are not. So things like the document size, the number of pages, the word count and the total editing time, those are automatically populated into the document properties. Whereas the three properties underneath, title, tags and comments, you can see as I hover over, I get a little box, which means that I can add my own properties. So if I want to modify this, I can just click in the box, enter in the title and hit enter. I might then choose to add some tags into my document properties. And the reason why you might want to do this is to aid you when it comes to searching. So if I was searching for this particular document in File Explorer, and maybe I couldn't remember the name of the document, if I've added easy to remember tags, I could utilize those to search, which is what we're gonna do in a moment. Now I can come in here and type in my tag directly. So I might want to say contract, and if I want to add more than one tag, I separate with a semicolon and hit enter to set that property. And then I might want to add some comments. Like so. As we move down, you can see some more properties which we can't change. So things like the last modified time and the time that the document was created and also last printed. Now I haven't printed this yet, hence why we don't have a date listed in there. We then have the author details and who last modified this document. And what I could do is if there were more than one author, I could add another author into here. Now I could type in their name or alternatively, if you have your word connected up to your Outlook, you can select an author from your Outlook address book contacts. Now, another thing you'll notice is that right at the bottom, we have a show all properties link. So what I'm seeing here when I initially jump into the info area is a shortened version of all of the document properties. So if I click show all properties, we get a few more in there. So you can see it's added total editing time. I can also see the template that I'm using. So this is really useful if you're not sure which template you have attached currently. We can add in status. So I might want to put something like in progress. I can add in a category. So let's say recruitment. And I could go through continuing to add things in. So let's add in a company name like so. So the process of actually viewing and modifying your document properties is a pretty straightforward one. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.